ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे आई गीता जैन साइंस टीचर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आर के सी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे आई एम हेयर विद पार्ट फोर ऑफ चैप्टर टू कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फेट्स प्रोटीन्स विटामिन्स मिनरल्स रफेज एंड वाटर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट बैलेंस डाइट एंड डेफिशेंसी डिजीज टूडे सेशन इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर टू बैलेंस डाइट बिफोर वी नो वॉट इज अ बैलेंस डाइट वन शुड नो वॉट इज अ डाइट द फूड विच वी ईट ड्यूरिंग द होल डे इज कॉल्ड अवर डाइट अ डाइट कंजिस्ट ऑफ मेनी फूड आइटम्स मेड फ्रॉम सीरियल्स पल्सेस फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल्स मीट फिश एग्स एंड मिल्क वी सप्लाई ऑल द न्यूट्रिय टू द बॉडी सो द डाइट विच कंटेन्स प्रॉपर अमाउंट ऑफ ऑल द न्यूट्रिय सच इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स proteins vitamins minerals along with roughage and water is known as a balanced diet no single food item can provide us all the essential nutrients in proper amount so in order to make a balanced diet we should include a number of different food items in our daily meals which taken together and provide us all the nutrients in proper amount a balanced diet depend on the age of the person and also on the type of the work done by the person a child and a grown up man are of different age so the balanced diet of a child is different from that of a grown up man the diet of a growing child should contain more of protein rich foods than the diet of a grown up man The balanced diet of a man doing hard physical work is different from another man doing normal work. A balanced diet should contain enough food items like cereals, wheat, rice, bajra, maize, etc. Potatoes, sugar, they provide carbohydrates. Butter, ghee, oil provides fats. Pulses, peas, milk cheese fish meat chicken egg provides protein vegetables and fruits provide vitamins minerals and roughage eating the right kind of food is not enough it should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost but why we have to cook food yes cooking improves the taste of food and also makes it easier to digest we should not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting and peeling them if we are doing so that means we are not getting the proper vitamins we have just learned that the essential food nutrients required for our body are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals if any one of these nutrients in less quantity than required or missing altogether from our diet over a long period of time then it can cause a disease or disorder in our body since this disease arise from the deficiency of nutrients in our body it is called a deficiency disease if protein is lacking in our body then the person would have stunted growth swelling of face discoloration of hair skin disease and diarrhea if both carbohydrate and proteins are missing in the diet for a long period of a time the growth may stop completely and such a person will become very lean and thin and he or she may not even be able to more deficiency disease because of protein is known as kwashiorkor the symptoms are the hair of the child changes color and become red the skin of child cracks and becomes scaly the stomach of child becomes swollen 
and bulges out. Swelling of face and feet. The child is going to have baby stunted growth. Marasmus. The deficiency of protein and carbohydrate both. The child becomes very lean and thin. The child is reduced to just skin and bones. And the bones of the child show through the skin. You can see in the figure given. Deficiency disease of vitamin A, B, C and D. The deficiency of vitamin A weakens our vision in dim light. The person is not able to see properly in dim light or at night. If the deficiency of a vitamin A is over for a longer period of a time, the person may lead to total blindness. The deficiency of vitamin B1 in food causes a disease known as beriberi. The symptoms are the muscles of the person become very weak and he has very little energy to do work. The deficiency of a vitamin C causes a disease known as scurvy. The symptoms are bleeding from the gums, loosening of teeth and wounds take a longer time to heal. Deficiency of vitamin D causes a disease known as rickets. The child suffering from rickets has bow legs. You can see in the figure given. The bones become soft or you can say fragile. Means easily you can break them. Deficiency disease of minerals, iodine, calcium and iron. The deficiency of iodine in the diet of an adult person leads to a disease known as goiter. The main symptom of this disease is that the neck of the person appears to be swollen. The goiter disease is more common in hilly areas because the drinking water and food grown in such areas are poor in iodine. The goiter disease does not occur in coastal areas, that means the sea areas, where because the coastal people eat a lot of seafood, which contains good amount of iodine. The deficiency of iodine in the small children may lead to the disease known as mental disability, retarded physical growth, etc. Deficiency of a calcium leads to the weak bones, weak muscles, the bones become so soft and because of the muscles are weak, the person do not have energy to do work and the person becomes very weak. Deficiency of iron in our food may lead to the disease known as anemia. The person looks pale, feels very weak and loses weight. Here is the table given from which you can learn all the deficiency disease and their symptoms very easily. Thank you and keep learning.